The climate science problem that I'm working on is trying to better understand the impacts of climate change on the natural world in biomes from the tundra to the tropics. Um, and in some cases, that means sort of tracking the pace of rapid climate change in places like the Arctic tundra, which is warming three times as fast as the rest of the world. In some cases, that means leveraging the technology of a place like Oak Ridge National Laboratory to build a range of possible futures in a peat bog in northern Minnesota to better understand what the consequences might be for climate change and for our society's future. One of the reasons I like to work at a national laboratory is because we have a mission, and that mission is to help society better prepare for the future based on decisions that we make today. And so even though I measure and study only a small part of the natural world, I can put those pieces together like a puzzle with the measurements that other people are making and then use that to inform the mathematical models and run on supercomputers that can help us to do experiments with the entire world. Putting these pieces together in virtual space, we can run experiments with the globe and understand how decisions we make now could impact society's future. And so that understanding, that knowledge, that ability to predict what might be coming is something that I think can make a difference. I have two kids, um, so I think about their future and sort of the future that I want them to have, the world that I want them to live in. And I also think, you know, I'm a scientist and so scientists get excited about understanding things that they didn't understand before, understanding the natural world. And, and that's something I'm really excited about. And one of the reasons that I like to be at the National Laboratory is because I get to interact with so many different people who are studying different things in different ways. And so, you know, I study a small part of the world, the below ground world, the soils and the roots tangled there, but other folks study um, greenhouse gases or soil carbon or plant photosynthesis. And other folks take those measurements and encode them into math that's used in these models and these supercomputers to predict the future. And so, Getting to put all of these puzzle pieces together to see the big picture is something that's really exciting for me and, and keeps me going. In terms of what keeps me at night, up at night and thinking about science is really, um, it's about communication. So something I think a lot about is how to let folks know what we're finding, so we're publicly funded, that you know your tax dollars are supporting the science we do, and, and I want that science to matter to people and to inform their lives and to help them better understand decisions we make as a society, and so how best to communicate those findings. And then also what keeps me up at night is thinking about what don't we know yet. So we're changing the world way more rapidly than it's ever changed in the past, and so what are the things that we might be missing or, or things that, you know, tipping points or thresholds that we haven't yet thought about? And so I guess I just, I want to, to reach that understanding as quickly as we can because I really want to sort of help us to be better prepared for what the future might hold. You can study just about anything and be a climate scientist. We need folks who are physicists, we need folks who are mathematical modelers, we need folks who, like me, who like to tromp around in the tundra and dig holes and look at the soil. There's so many different disciplines that touch on an understanding of climate change because it's a global problem. We need folks from around the world who study all the parts of the world to sort of help us understand and think about what the solutions might be. And so I would say it's one of the biggest problems of our time. And so we need you to come and work on this problem, but you can work on any facet of it and it will be, be helpful sort of for thinking about our future.